Okay, how are we doing guys? How are we? I'm going to give it a, uh, a couple of seconds. We've got uh, the main camera hooked up here for uh, for YouTube, so this video is going to go uh, straight up after um, after we've finished recording. Uh, I've got all the news to go through. We've got some, uh, some cool pieces to uh, sort of discuss this evening so uh, that should be uh, that should be quite cool so I, uh, I do want to give it a couple of minutes before we uh, before we do eventually get cracking and so uh, yeah it should be uh, it should be a good one got some uh, interesting pieces I hope uh, everyone's had a, a good day one more day left of the week anyone up to uh, to much uh, this weekend do let me know down uh, down below in the comments YouTube comments and, uh, and Instagram, do let me know what you got planned this weekend. If you're playing, do let me know. I do want to know. Let's give it a uh, a couple of seconds. How are we, guys? How is everyone? Ah, oh, Miss Carberry, how are you? So, okay. Whoa, this is going to be good. We've got some interesting topics. We do have some really, really interesting topics. This is a terrible setup, by the way. I'm kind of leaning on my... This is not really that comfortable. Trying to find a nicer setting for lighting and all that sort of stuff in here it was an absolute nightmare today. But um, I think we got it situated. We're kind of all right. We got to, hopefully it's gonna be fine. Fingers crossed it's gonna be fine. So, Essendon Saturday. Nice, how's Essendon playing at the moment? Haven't been there in ages. Absolutely ages. 23 people, 22 people. Oh, someone didn't like to start. All 21. Okay, so we are uh, we are just past uh, Saul. It disappeared this afternoon. Feels nice to be able to breathe just a, a little bit. But um, but let's get uh, let's get cracking with the news, guys. So the first news topic we have today is G4. So G4 today. Uh, well, this past couple of weeks have uh, sort of been restocking-ish various websites, the uh, MG4.1. Uh, so uh, the new model that's come back, a variety of, uh, of different different sizes, a variety of different colorways uh, across the web, really. Trendy Golf have had a couple, Golf Poser have got a couple. Um, I will leave a link to uh, Golf Poser's website down there. It's a sneaky affiliate link. I'll, uh, I'll leave that uh, down below for you if you, uh, if you do want to head over. Uh, this is on YouTube. If you do want to head over and, uh, and do a little bit of shopping over there, it does help the channel immensely. So uh, I will leave a link to that down below. Uh, the Navy player, I think, is my standout pair, really, for... Um, for that shoe. I've got the navy pair myself. Do be aware, it might be worth uh, half sizing up if you're gonna look at uh, that pair. I actually think that pair would be a kind of a pretty cool winter shoe if you're if you're not playing golf somewhere that gets crazy muddy. Uh, they are bang easy to clean. Uh, they're really, really good from uh, from that perspective. So, uh, so yeah, if you're looking for a pair of shoes for the winter, a nice lightweight, then uh, I think they'd be a pretty cool pair. So, um, Anyway, moving on to the next bit of news. Uh, I'm going to call out Hugo Boss. I need someone from Hugo Boss to. Uh, I need someone to talk to me about uh, Patrick Cantlay, or if your name is uh, Paul McGinley, I guess it's Cantlay. Absolutely hate it when he calls him Patrick Cantlay. It's one of the the worst. Uh, when you're viewing golf on the telly and uh, Paul McGinley's on and he calls him Cantlay, that just is a, a no from me. But. Um, but yeah, he was wearing a Boss jumper this past week at the Zozo when he won. Lovely cream jumper. I'm calling out Boss because I don't think they make that. I don't think they make that jumper. I don't, for me, that jumper does not exist. I've never seen it before. And I've certainly seen it on a couple of bits that Canley's worn. He, he wore a button-down polo. Boss traditionally haven't really ever done button-down polos, so I'm kind of wondering why they've done that. I don't know if they're just like screen printing their stuff onto... Um, onto his tops and uh, and away he goes because it just doesn't look like the sort of stuff that uh, that boss would traditionally do he's never he's always like all black and then something really basic so i want to call him out someone a boss someone please tell me whether or not you actually guys you make that top or not i, I want to know that jumper was so so nice uh, be interesting to see if we can get hold of that anywhere on the web and so, moving on to uh, moving on to Adidas and the uh, the triple black, the code chaos has been hitting the internet, just taking the internet by storm is what I meant to say. Chris Colick, if you don't follow Chris Colick on uh, on social media, do head over and uh, and do follow him. 
uh, he does uh, he does some really really cool pictures some really cool images great page to follow he took a great picture wearing the triple black code chaos uh, this past week such a great shoe if you're looking for a winter shoe i'm going to have some videos coming on these in the uh, the next couple of weeks but uh, if you're looking for a winter shoe jet black all black outfit app looks absolutely class i've been wearing mine to death over the last uh, last couple of weeks and grip wise they are phenomenal so don't sleep if you're thinking that uh, a code chaos is not going to do the job for you when it comes to uh, to grip in the winter months in my opinion they're going to be absolutely fine for you. So, um, so yeah, that uh, that is that for Adidas. Moving on to Fine Golf Collective, they have had a, a Malbon restock. If you've not checked out the gear from Malbon, it's very very cool. It's kind of streetwear-y, kind of uh, kind of golf streetwear mixing the two. I think it's really really nice, especially the caps. I think the caps are absolutely class. So uh, do check them out. They've got a few more bits. And uh, if you're looking at those sort of international brands, Birds of Condor, Asher, all the sort of the really niche brands that are becoming really, really popular. Um, yeah, they're just uh, they're just doing big things over there on uh, on Fine Golf Collective. I think that website expect that website to uh, to really grow in the next couple of weeks and months. I think that website could do really really well. I'd love to see it sort of get up there on a uh, on a par with sort of uh, trendy golf and uh, and Function 18 golf pose of those guys because I think they do a fantastic job at Fine Golf Collective. Shout out to you if you're watching. Uh, quickly in the comments, Billy's joined us. Phil Dormer, how are you, dude? Who else we got? Ryan. Is that Ryan? I think it's Ryan. Uh, Rolf is with us. Good evening, Rolf. Okay, so anyway, moving on to uh, to the next bit of news. Next bit of news. Nike. Now, or Nike, if you're joining me from the States, Nike, I apologize. I know we kind of we kind of say it differently here, but uh, Rory was wearing a, uh, a hoodie this past week at the Zozo. Now, are you telling me, he's, is he wearing a hoodie because Tyrrell wore a hoodie and then Everyone at Nike has decided, wow, oh, this is just this has just been incredible. Tyrrell's worn a hoodie. It's gone down really, really well. Everyone's talking about it. Rory, we need to get you into a hoodie. You can't tell me that that's not the situation that arose. I can't help but think that if Rory, I'm sorry, if Tyrrell doesn't wear the hoodie at Wentworth the other week and win and it becomes a big deal, you can't tell me uh, if that didn't happen, then Rory this week would have been wearing the hoodie. I think the hoodie's cool. I, I know uh, how Varna came out uh, and said that uh, you know if you have a problem with the hoodie, you might have a problem yourself. Uh, it's an interesting take. I've got no problem with the hoodie. If it's a technical hoodie, I've got no problem with a technical hoodie. I don't really want to see uh, too many sort of heavyweight cotton hoodies, but um, but yeah, certainly I've got no problem with seeing a hoodie out on the golf course. And so uh, moving on with uh, with Nike. I think in the US, you guys, if you're in the US and you're joining me, do let me know uh, down below. Or oh, Harvey is dead against the uh, the hoodies. He's not in it for a hoodie. Um, if uh, if you're in the States, do let me know. Uh, you guys, I think, have had the Infinity Tour, the sort of winterized version. I don't think we've had it here in the UK. In the UK, I think we've only had the, what is it, the, uh, the Shield, the Air Max 270. I think that's the only one that we've had here in the UK. But um, but yeah, if you've had that shoe um, over there in the States, do let me know. I think it's a, it's a better looking shoe than the, two, uh, the 270 Air Max, but still, it's just not, not a vibe for me. Not how you can put sort of any white on a winter shoe, I just don't get. Just make the thing, just murder the thing out in jet black. I think that would look absolute class. Exactly the same as Adidas did with the triple black, the Code Chaos, and the other shoes in that pack. I do really, really think that uh, if they'd murdered out that shoe, jet black, maybe just a white tick, but a white tick that you could clean really easily, sort of a plasticky material tick, I think that would look really, really cool. But uh, but moving on to uh, to the Masters pack. This is the beauty about doing this uh, Instagram Live, by the way, and uh, and then uploading it onto YouTube. The beauty of this is the fact that I didn't have to sort of, earlier in the day, normally what I would do is I would record the video, I'd then edit it, and then upload it. This evening we got the uh, the pictures from uh, from the states and from various forms of social media. Everyone put um, everyone put on uh, on their socials about the fact that the Masters pack for Nike has arrived. So the same five shoes that they've done all of their packs for this year, uh, they're corduroy. Uh, they're like white corduroy. Now I don't know about you guys. I don't own any corduroy personally myself, but I can imagine corduroy is an absolute nightmare to clean. A white corduroy shoe. Um, I, I'm not really vibing out with those, if I'm honest. I think that's going to be just horrendous to clean. 
Don't be wrong through the summer months, if uh, if there's no dust knocking about in the air at all and you can get away with it, then I think that shoe would look very, very cool. I think the colour schemes are actually very nice. I really like the greens and the slight sort of burnt orange sort of tinges to it. I do kind of quite like those, but um, but really, I just think that for the Masters, they just could have done something a, a little bit better, in my opinion. It's like the sort of last major of the year, I just think that they could have done a, a lot more. But then I understand that with the Masters, uh, with the Masters company themselves, they don't like people using sort of the exact green. They don't really like uh, people sort of using the logo at all or anything like that. So it's difficult for these brands to work around that to create a shoe. But, um, but still, I think they could have done more. And so what you've all been waiting for were the news, the, the truth behind Brooks Kepka. Now, I don't follow Brooks Kepka's, uh, is it wife, fiance, girlfriend, I'm not sure, Jenna Sims, I don't follow her on, uh, on social media, but uh, one of my followers uh, sort of sent me a, uh, a link to a, uh, to a video that, um, that they did on, well, Brooks and Jenna did on her Instagram story, like a little Q&A. Someone asked him, why are you not wearing the Infinity Tours? His answer was pretty much the same answer as we've all really experienced. Those of you who have bought the Infinity Tours, you will know they're not the most stable shoe. They were giving his knee some uh, some serious jip and uh, bothering his knee, and so he's decided not to wear the shoes. Now, he did sign off that one bit of the, uh, the Q&A with saying, uh, sort of, look out, something's coming sort of for the future. Hopefully, he's going to get back into the shoe. Does that mean they're going to make a sort of a wider, more stable version of that shoe? I would love to see that, because I actually really like a lot about that shoe. Uh, and so I would love to see that. But yeah, not wearing it because of the knee. Now I wanna know when the knee injury sort of first happened and sort of how long was he producing, helping design the shoe while he was having the knee injury and basically did the knee injury come as a result of wearing those shoes? So that's a really, really interesting take. Also, I don't know if you, any of you watched to the end uh, of that, uh, that Q&A that they did. It's kind of like they were in a hotel bed and Brooks has kind of got his top off. Um, it's kind of really weird. Like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, yo, see up with uh, with Chris. How are you doing? But yeah, I, I just I don't understand how like you just chilling there with your missus, just just in bed, just doing a Q and A with your top off. I don't know if obviously him and Bryce, and I don't know if it was all about uh, Brooks sort of showing off his maybe muscular muscular physique. I'm not sure, but. Um, but yeah, um, very, very interesting. But hopefully, Infinity Tour-wise, uh, maybe we'll see a, uh, a version in the future that uh, might be a little bit wider, might be a little bit more stable. Something that kind of wrapped up around the React would be uh, be really, really cool. And so, uh, so yeah, that uh, that guys is uh, is the news. Not a uh, not a great deal of news in the last couple of weeks. I was kind of if I didn't have, if I didn't do the live, I probably wouldn't have uh, uploaded this evening because it's just not been a whole lot to talk about. But then uh, we got the Brooks stuff. We got Rory in a hoodie. We got a new Masters pack, and thought, here we go. I'll uh, I'll get uh, uploading for you guys. So uh, thank you very much to uh, to every single one of you who has tuned in this evening. It uh, it does mean a lot. Uh, it's very very cool to uh, to see all the names sort of. All the comments at the bottom, and then see people uh, people joining. Uh, it's been very very cool. So uh, so thank you very much for that. I am going to upload this onto uh, to YouTube. So I've got a little bit of editing to do. I have had the uh, if you weren't with us at the start, I have had the uh, the DSLR camera running at the same time. So hopefully we'll get this up onto uh, to YouTube. And um, if you missed any of it, if you're joining late, if you've missed any of it, don't worry. You will be able to. Oh, uh, news on the Footjoy shoe for 2021. Um, yes, that's a good point. Uh, I don't think I'm still allowed to say what the name of the shoe is. Um, uh, I don't know how much I'm allowed to, to say really. All I can tell you really is that there is an absolutely banging shoe coming from Footjoy. If you like traditional styling, uh, you like modern technology, you like all of that stuff, the, the shoe, their main premier shoe for, uh, for 2021 is an absolute banger. I haven't had a chance. I wanted to record a video like I did um, like I did last year. I went to see the shoes in sort of October time, did a video, wasn't allowed to bring it out until February. I think the shoes are coming out Feb, March. Um, I haven't had a chance to get over sort of uh, everything that's going on in the world at the moment. I'm not going to use the actual name because uh, YouTube doesn't like it, but uh, everything's going on in the world at the moment um, just sort of means that I can't really get over there and film. Hopefully that might change and I might be able to do it. Uh, it's 
I don't know if the icon is staying or the icon is uh, is going. I'm not sure. I, I will have to um, sort of have to wait and see on uh, on that one. I'm not sure. I want it to stay. I really want that shoe to stay. That shoe is uh, is one of my favourite shoes uh, of all time. And so um, so yeah, I do really really want that shoe to uh, to stick around. But uh, but yeah, does anyone uh, by the way have any questions down below before we uh, before I sort of sign out, say goodbye? Uh, does anyone have any questions down below uh, about anything news-wise coming up? Anything that you'd like to know of? But uh, if you haven't, then um, do let me know uh, down in the comment section down below. As I've said, those of you joining now, sorry we've done the news, but I will be uploading uh, this video to uh, to YouTube, so um, so you will be able to uh, to see that uh, up on YouTube. So uh, so guys, uh, any news of Nike restocking Roshi's? Uh, who's the best junior golfer? Not you, Saul. Um, I haven't tried Asics golf shoes. I didn't know Asics do golf shoes. Um, oh, I did know because Matsuyama wears them, right? I really like the Matsuyama ones. Yeah, Nike Masters release. We've uh, we co we covered that a uh, a little while back. Uh, corduroy, mm, no bueno for me on the uh, on the corduroy. But um, Asics Golf Guy reviews. If you don't follow Golf Guy reviews and you uh, and you don't subscribe to his YouTube channel, uh, do head over there. Uh, got some uh, some great takes on some great products. Uh, news on the Ryder Cup Nike 270s. Yeah, I, sort of that just um, that just sort of came out of the blue. We got the images online. It said no official release date. I don't even know if um, I don't even know if the states got them. If you can tell me that, uh, tell me anyone in the states whether or not you uh, you end up getting those shoes. Uh, do let me know. We haven't had them here so far. So um, so yeah, very very uh, very very interesting to see whether or not we're going to get those. I don't know why we would get those or whether or not they're sort of just saving those for next year when the Ryder Cup comes around. Uh, I'm not uh, I'm not quite uh, I'm not quite sure. But guys, thank you very much. I am uh, I'm going to sign out now. Thank you to uh, to everyone who tuned in on Instagram live. It does uh, mean a lot to me. I do really really appreciate it and uh, and yeah, if you have not done so already, do subscribe, do drop a follow uh, and do drop me some comments in the comment section down below over there on YouTube. That, uh, that would be absolutely awesome. So guys, signing out. If you missed anything, be over on the YouTube channel. Take care.